It's been a really great couple weeks as we enter this intersection and almost get in an accident. That intersection, uh, it, I, I made a short about that. What happens is it creeps out and then waits in the middle because it's such a big intersection. It sees the car and it stops, but uh, you know, I feel bad. That guy honked and uh, probably didn't make him feel great. Um, it's one of those situations where maybe I should have taken over, but anyway, onward and upward. Hop on, make a quick rainy day drive into downtown video for you. Hope everybody's doing well. It's been a great few weeks. Uh, we've had some really cool videos go viral. Had had one on TikTok go half a million. Uh, 50, 000, one on YouTube go about 50,000 views. So really appreciate everybody's support, everybody who's been sharing the videos. They've been fun to make. We're going to keep going. It's a nice rainy day here this morning. FSD is degraded for sure. Uh, foggy window, windshield wipers going back and forth erratically. We're gonna see how it does. Dark, dark, rainy, overcast morning here in Iowa. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been over a month now. I've had some, some interesting experiences with Beta. I gotta say, I know we're gonna be on beta for another probably six months to a year, especially with hardware four. Um, and alpha is gonna change everything. Version twelve is gonna change everything. But uh, yeah, there've been some issues. Like for example, here we are stopped at this railroad track. It's not gonna go, so I'm gonna hit the accelerator to pass over the railroad track. It thinks that the place to stop for that red light is back before the railroad tracks. I think some, that's something that version 12 will be able to handle no problem, but beta right now uh, is unable to navigate that. I will say at least it's doing it more safely. I mean, what it's the decisions it's making are safe. They're just not exactly what a human would do. So, as we go along here on this rainy day, I will say for the most part, when FSD has a nice open road like this, I mean, even in rainy conditions, you can tell it picks up the road beautifully. Um, it's come so far. This is going to be the future. I don't think there's any way we can go back now. The fact that we've gotten this far. If every car on the road right now is riding beta, it'd be a safer road. No question about it. Would you have the occasional vehicle that stops when it doesn't need to stop? Sure. Uh, but I'll say with Tesla, I don't think you're going to have anything like you have the Waymo's doing where they totally stop uh, and are unable to move as we stop nicely here for this red light. But there's no doubt that beta testing is a little bit nerve-wracking. It's a different experience. You're having to be ready to take control at any time. That's the name of the game. That's just where we're at as we've got a shirtless runner out on this rainy morning. Good for you, buddy. I bet it feels good. 62 degrees. Going for a nice little jog. Why not? Um... Anyway, what was I saying? That's part of the game with beta testing. This is what we've got to do to get the millions and millions of miles of data to feed the neural networks to eventually get to a, di to a different, better system as we have a uh, alarm. Let me know that full self-driving may be degraded. Yeah, I mean, this is just super impressive. It's hard to see out the front window with the rain, my human eyes can, I mean, I know where the markings are, but the fact that, the fact that it can do this and pick up where the lanes are just from camera-based images is incredible. Absolutely incredible. 
we've really come a, far, a long way. I will say, I've never thought that Beta is going to get me in an accident. I've thought a number of times it's going to make me feel embarrassed on the road because it's stopping for a car that's not really turning or being overly cautious where it thinks in a tight intersection that a car's not going to turn. It, it, it puts me in embarrassing situations, but I've never thought that it's going to veer into another vehicle. That's the thing that I think I'm most confident about. And that skill is the most important. That obviously, you don't want to get into an accident. Um, yeah, you want to eventually drive without unnecessarily stopping or jerking around a route roundabout or something like that. But these are the edge cases that are going to get solved. say the wipers have been doing a little bit better this drive than before. <laughs> Sometimes they have a mind of their own. I made a video, a short called Five Things I Hate About My Tesla Model Y, and one of them was the windshield wipers. Um, I'm going to be doing a video, Five Things I Love About My Model Y. And let's brainstorm. What are the five things I love about my Model Y? I'll tell you one thing I noticed last night. As I was going over um, some uneven sections in the road, I love how evenly weighted uh, the Tesla Model Y is. Well, all Teslas. But, you know, in a traditional ICE vehicle, I'm going to start calling them legacy ICE vehicles because they're on their way out. But in a legacy ICE vehicle... Uh, all the, so much more weight is up front with the engine and you feel it when you're going over a speed bump or something like that. When you're in a Tesla and you're going over something uneven, like a bump, uh, it's just, it, it, the experience is so much better with the evenly weighted vehicle. And it's a heavy vehicle too. Um, and so I guess that kind of goes along with that. But last night I did a, a time-lapse video where we drove 20 miles. It was windy. You couldn't tell from the time-lapse, but it was super windy out. And it just feels so great being in a heavier vehicle compared to... I mean, I had a Subaru Forester. I had a Subaru Legacy. Those things were like... It's funny. Somebody in the comments said, Oh, driving a Tesla is like driving a pop can." No, driving a Subaru was like driving a tin can or a pop can. Those things blew all over the road. Teslas are sturdy. They feel sturdy. Um, reminds me when I was a, uh, a kid, my dad had a Mercedes sedan, and, and I remember driving that and how sturdy it felt. Um, part of it was, I mean, it's better engineered, but it was heavier vehicle too. And so the, the, the cornering's better the handling's better. That's what I feel like the Tesla brings in compared to these Toyota Corollas or Subaru Legacies, Imprezas, Foresters, things like that. So this is a really uh, uh, impressive four-lane area. It's so tight. I'm nervous right now. I'm nervous driving this without full self-driving because of how tight these four lanes are right here in this part of town. And it handled it beautifully. The front windshield is, is even a little foggy. That was a beautiful, smooth handling of that four-lane area there. But anyway, guys, um, we're approaching downtown here. I appreciate you guys coming along on this rainy morning. We got a lot more videos coming, so subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Drop a comment if there's something you you like about your tesla i think i named one thing there what are some other things you like about your tesla or about teslas if you don't have one uh give me some ideas for that five things i love about tesla's video uh, 
I've got some ideas, but I'd be curious to know what you guys think too. We're gonna end the video here as we approach downtown. Thanks again. Uh, love you guys. We'll see you next time.